Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here this start of a new campaign in Vanilla Hearts of Iron 4 in which we're playing as everyone's favorite Republican Alf Landon, a staunch constitutionalist. Is he Republican? I guess he is. It says we're Democratic. Yeah, we are Republicans. Whatever. But we're currently doing adjusted compensation now. Our veterans of the Great War were promised a fair pension. Many have fallen on hard times recently as the Depression hit. We must do whatever we can to help those who answer the call of the Republicans' hour of need. So, yeah. Hopefully this will help our slow recovery. We are going down the... We already did reestablish gold standard, though. Without that, without the, that, their gold standard, money exists as little more than an article of faith while rampant inflation eats away people's savings and devalues their work. Must ban this fiscally irresponsible path of America first. Some people will have to spend our treasures and blow, the blood of our youth in foreign wars. We'll let's not be swayed by these warmongers. Instead, we'll live by a simple maxim. America first, everyone else second. Now, after this one, we do need to ally with them their silver shirts as well. Um... Uh, intimidate political opponents, of course, because we want to rush through and get as much foreign support as possible. We want to get the free core, as well as work with the boon. We definitely need both of these. And we'll honor some sort of group here, too, but to restore our nation to its proper place in the world and claim our manifest destiny, a more fundamental organization is necessary. The Silver Shirts will help us achieve this. We lose some stability, move closer to a uh, kerfuffle, but it's alright. Uh, Labor Management Relations Act. Not bad. Uh, exclude the Chinese peoples. Can I say that in the first two minutes here? Ah, it's fine, probably. But we've already done war plan divisions. While we might desire peace, we must prepare for war. Intervention in Europe. Less than two decades after the great end of the Great War, the nations of Europe are once again poised for war. We must be prepared in case the situation requires swift intervention in a war department. In an age of industrialized warfare, we must have an administration capable of harnessing the resources of a great nation to their fullest potential. And by foreign support. Uh, if you're gonna buy this, please go ahead. Uh, I don't really care. With some very disturbing reports coming in about the loyalty of the military and some state governments, we might have to look abroad for support. Now we can do this one, uh, but we can't do it yet, um, just because we don't have enough uh, support yet. But we are currently at 14%. They criticize us, whatever, no one cares. Um, in the meantime, this is on a historical. The German Empire is here. Est Lithuania is in a civil war. Estonia, I think, already had a civil war. Maybe they did. Amelia Earhart is gone, no one cares. Um, Spain's in their, in their little kerfuffle. Actually, we can't... Oh, I can't send them all to God dang it. Also, we do have... Joseph Patterson for more political power. We have Robert Taft for more political power, as well as good old Charles Coughlin. So, we're daily, getting more daily uh, support, so we're just good. We're very good. Fourth International. Um, yeah, like I said, we're on a historical. And we could core, like, Alaska, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, but whatever. Also, I did make sure that we did convert all the military factories in the New England area and on the West Coast, just in case they want to do something dumb here. So, they have no more military factories over there for a good reason, as well as on this side, too, so... Yeah, we're building some millies, building some civvies. Good stuff. That we'll definitely need when the war <coughs> kerfuffle starts. When it does. It's 1937. Grab some of that too. I've never done this before. Actually, I've tried this off in my own screen trying to get the little civil war to spawn. And I hate it. I absolutely hate it so much. It sucks so hard. Um, but we'll see. Slow recovery. Really sucks. But almost one political power every day is not bad. Protests in the Capitol. Another way of a mass protest is hit the Capitol with demonstrations clogging every major road in and around the Capitol building. Organized by the Action Committee for the Preservation of the Republic, the protesters demanded an independent investigation into allegations of corruption and misconduct in the administration of President Alf Landon. And in particular, they demanded that the President denounce the Silver Legion and publicly assure them that the rights of his voters will be uh, respected. What? Who cares about rights? President Alf Landon refused to comment on the issue. Let him protest. We have a country to run. Sounds like personal problems to me. Send Lindbergh to that there Germany. The famous aviator is offered to go to Europe to investigate how Germany has rebuilt itself after the last war. This should give us some valuable experience. Lindbergh has also uh, indicated that he'd be willing to join the government in a consulting role. We get Lindbergh more daily air XP, get some more uh, air wing training experience gain, and more just air XP in general. So that'd be good, but we're going to definitely want to work with the boon or peace with the German Empire, get some stability. Ensure that the following states remain with the government in the case of a civil conflict. Sounds, sounds about right. Get some extraction stuff, get some extraction stuff, because you can. What do I do with 100 PP right now? Uh, Spain is really just falling apart. Army morale, uh, division attack. I'm not sure who Eisenhower would side with in a scenario like this. Because I don't want to choose people that were going to leave us anyways, so. Uh, we're almost done with the naval. We're halfway done. We're more than halfway done with the naval stuff already, which is great. Uh, naval theorists, rocket scientists, air theorists. Mark Clark. Or, you know what, screw it, we'll grant state to Alaska, Hawaii, and Puerto Rico immediately. Because why not? Do I believe... Wait, what is this? Oh, there it is. Senator's retirement, that's fine, whatever. 
Do I believe Puerto Rico should be a state? Yeah, that's for you to decide, not me. Occupied territory? Eh. Man, the budget and too many political opponents. Ooh. You lose a lot of stability, though, but you get more... Ooh. Hmm. I don't want to take it immediately yet, because it gets harder to raise the support here, but... Let's try. It's only a little bit of stability. It's only a little bit. Protectionist tariffs. Ooh, that's not bad. Export focus, income tax reform. I would like to do this, but we're, we, I want to rush down this way. I want to go fascist as fast as possible. Uh, recruit the Free Corps. Work with the Boond. The German American Boond is offered to help us communicate our positions to the many Americans of German ancestry and ensure that we have a sympathetic base in their states. Ensure that the following states remain with the government in the event of a civil war Ohio, Missouri, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan. But why not, like, the Dakotas, Iowa, um, maybe even Nebraska? Like, in Wyoming, like, a lot of the Midwest is pretty German, isn't it? I mean, that's still, this, this, I mean, that's still part of the Midwest. But even this part is still the Midwest, too, I thought. Is it not? I'm pretty sure it is. Then again, they also think, uh, Paradox thinks that, what was it? They can become the Confederacy by being a fascist Confederacy, and in and of that self is, holy, crush, bad words, that's, that's a mess. But whatever, it's, 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 a, it's a Swedish company, it's Paradox. It is what it is. Um, we're just missing a lot of guns. I'm not really too concerned. Also, we will be stockpiling a lot of manpower. Just in case, adjust the compensation plat uh, payment. That's fine. Uh, train more divisions for now, I guess. Actually, actually, we might get rid of them. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't know. I've never actually really done this Civil War before, so. Uh, come over and do some planning stuff. Since we're here, we have enough anyways. Ooh, this is first. Naval stuff. Navels. We like navels. Sure, why not? Better tactical bomber? Sure, why not? And there goes the Pact of Rome. A couple dude Renos. Alright. Carlos Spain's gone. Goodbye, Carlos Spain. Oh, Soviet opposition requests support. Members of the anti Stalinist Soviet opposition currently campaigning against the Stalinist regime. A number of anti Stalin rallies have been organized and they're running ca fundraising campaigns here in the US of A. Uh, in addition to raising popular support <clears throat> for the causes, they secretly approached us with a request for arms, uh, helping out and supporting the uprising. Whatever, but maybe we buy some for them. Okay, why not? Help them out, just why not? Start working on some military factories here, that'd be good. I don't know when the Civil War is going to fire. We're only at 20, actually 28% is pretty good. Uh, are we losing stability at all? No. Nice. And definitely want to recruit the Free Corps. With the military uh, increasingly suspect, we must turn to the heroes of the Great War in honor of our need. A German Free Corps came to the aid of the German Republic. We need a similar organization that will stay loyal to us when our hour of need comes as well. Pretty much. We still have to deal with the stupid whole thing there. Senators retire, no one cares. Stupid old uh, other stuff too. Now we get the Million Man March, then the oh, Soviet Civil War. European Syndicate. Uh, I, I love this one so much. I love battlefield support. Let's go with Operational Integrity. It's a little different than what I normally choose. It's fine, whatever. Oh, good God, this is a mess. Smirnov, do you make vodka? Yosef, 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 my boy. Intimidate them? Actually, where are we at for this stuff? Uh, did we get less if it goes up to 30%? I want to wait till we see that first. And we do, so now we can do it. More support. We already get ourselves just a little bit higher anyways, too. It's very nice. Slow recovery, of course. Oh, 10 million men march. 10 million men march. Uh, you know what? Let's save first. <clears throat> All across that third country, the regular protests against the policies of the President Alf Land have only grown in size and are regularly toppling several million protesters today. More than a million march through the streets of Washington with similar numbers reported in at least nine other locations. It's not even accounted for the smaller marches in state capitals and smaller cities. We're still pulling in thousands of people each with some toppling, topping hundreds of thousands. The protests came after a series of unpopular policy decisions by the administration, which the organizers claim undermined the very democratic fabric of a republic. Where previously the protesters of the man of the, the president distanced himself from the more radical ideologies, they now come to demand his immediate removal from office. And how do they propose to enforce that demand? Now the pro it's probably going to fire. It's only a third of the people are. Oh, it's auto saving. Okay. Because we want to save that ma as much manpower as possible, I think. Heck, I want to delete a bunch of divisions, too. 
Excavation is nice. Go need some rubber. One of the few things we actually don't make. Meek? Make. And chromium as well, but whatever. 38. Happy 1938, everybody. Nothing bad will happen this year, right? Right. Right. Yeah, let's work with the boon at the very least. Get that one done. I definitely want to recruit the free core as well. So, I definitely, I definitely want soldiers desert. Alarming reports have come in from several units that soldiers have failed to return or from leave or simply desert their posts. Perhaps even more alarming is the fact that many of these soldiers come from the same geographical areas and many had to receive mail from home only a few days before they disappeared. It appears that there's a concerted effort going on to get soldiers from southern states to return home. So it's just loyalty. Just loyalty. Oh boy. Of course, we don't get that much political power since we're doing all that stuff too, anyways. We are literally almost done with our naval doctrine. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight or nine ish. We have six left. Nice. Invite donations from Italians. Oh! Hello! Did you go fashion? Oh! <gasps> Mr. Handsome! Champion of Peace! <sighs> Refuse the last donations. The delegation has a little success. Speaking before empty rooms and finding impossible to even meet with the political leaders. They have returned empty handed. That's too bad. They approve donations! Oh! Delegation was sent to the British Empire supported good uh, success in their donations drive. A major contribution was reportedly made by Oswald Mosley himself. It'll be useful in the future. That's why more people should learn about Oswald Mosley. Such a great guy, you know. Great guy. Actually, can we just stockpile a bunch of divisions right now? That's all we can have, huh? Sucks. Bill in the second returns. Oh, they actually got Bill in the second. The Ban Naval Treaty, pretty normal. Well, let's try to get at least a five so we can at least increase the size of our division so we can actually throw one more on so we can save some stuff here. But after a free core, uh, Armory raided. Or U.S. Armory was raided in the part, remote part of Canada's, um by forces unknown over the last night. A small group of armed men forced a few guards into a shed where they were locked in. When soldiers managed to escape after dawn, they found the armory thoroughly looted. It appears that during the night, the attackers moved away from large quantities of material to an unknown location. Deeply troubling news. As much as I want to do national unemployment strategy, uh, and that's really good to get, I'm probably going to go over here next. We can go over here. So, as much as we want to exclude people, Labor Management Relations Act. Businesses all over America are threatened by kinds of union activities. All kinds. Strikes, organizing, demands for higher wages. We cannot allow this to continue. Citizens' malicious form. <clears throat> During the latest series of marches and demonstrations against the policies of President Alf Landon, a large number of uh, uh, protesters were openly carrying arms and wearing armbands identifying them as a growing citizens' militia movement. When challenged by police, the pro protesters claim that they are merely exercising the rights under the Second Amendment, but the FBI has found signs that these groups are not merely promoting uh, private ownership of firearms. Of firearms. Informers have reported that these armed groups held regular meetings and tried to gain access to infantry training manuals. Nothing wrong with that. Citizens in the state. Uh... Four militia units that will become active when the war breaks out. What do you mean? What war? What do you mean? That's Kansas. Oops, that's Nebraska. We're still building. We we'll keep losing more civvies. Not good. With the free corps, please. Oh, it's because of arm purchases still. December 10th. We're absolutely curious as president, of course. Idaho. Cool. Nothing bad will happen. Of course not. No. Or something bad will happen. What do you mean? Here, throw in some arty. How much more manpower do you need for that? 500 versus 1,000. You know, we're just here to save manpower, so I'll do that. Hopefully we can save all this manpower. I don't know. We'll see. Intimidate political opponents. We don't have a lot of stability, but whatever. Actually, do we have the thing about... Oh. Rich weapons. Training camps. Acquire British weapons. Mm. Flight schools. Funds for shipping. Training camps. We can do that one. They approve. I love the British Empire. Uh, a message arrived from a delegation of the British Empire. The British government has approved of construction of several training camps to train members of the Silver Legion in infantry tactics. They're holding their skills until the war breaks out. True American heroes. Absolutely. And everyone's abandoning the naval treaty, so whatever. So why should we pay attention to them? Exactly. We shouldn't. So the Civil War should break out relatively soon-ish. 
What percentage are we at? 38% is not small at all. That's actually really good. Oh, let's purchase this till June. Oh, that's fine, whatever. Do what you must. Do what you must. Finish up more civvies for now, too. Got a couple more ships here. Workers on strike. Mass strikes have been reported all across the U.S. With a wide variety of unions calling for action. Only the most vital of services are exempt. Fights have broken out in many places between strikers and strike breakers. Unusually, the workers do not demand higher wages or other concessions, but nothing more than the resignation of President Off Landon. What else would one expect from these communist traitors? Exactly. Bunch of commies. Is your warning to them? No, we're good. You know, get some. just in case. Getting closer. Oh, strikerinos. On the gold standard, my boys. And I guess girls, too. Another army rated? That's fine. Whatever. So. Nation building? When can we flip? Do we have to hit 50%? Protection of stairs. Um. I'm doing well. That'd be really good to do. The free traders open up our markets to foreign competitors, many of which have raised tariffs and duties of their own. Our companies face stiff competition while their theirs enjoys the safety of the customer wall customs walls. This must end. All right. Oh, there they go. Look at that. So they declared war with the American Junta. Midwest declares the government. I wish they would tell us that this was going to actually happen. Uh, with more and more states refusing to follow directions from the legitimate government, the uh, governors of Ohio, Missouri, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan have jointly declared that they will not tolerate any seditious behavior amongst the population. A new civil war, they argue, would leave the dangerous U.S. dangerously weakened in the face of foreign aggression. As they, well, they should. The Boston Rebellion. A series of protests against that their government against the president have at least reached climax. Yesterday, after the march and reached its destination in the center of Boston, the protesters did not disperse to go home. Instead, they broke into small groups and seized vital locations around the city. <clears throat> By nightfall, they have full control of the city. The police have largely gone over the protesters, and the governor of Massachusetts has refused to send in the National Guard. A Boston Citizen Committee has taken control over the city and is reportedly cooperating with the rebels. Other states in New England have passed motions of support, seeing that they no longer consider themselves bound by the law, any law signed by President Offland. and said, they call on all their state governments in the U.S. to declare the president disposed, and the Congress dissolved, and to hold new elections. While parts of the military remain under side, entire formations have informed their officers that they would not obey orders to crush rebellion. No one takes them too seriously. This will all blow over. Well, then. who's Field Marshal? Douglas MacArthur. As he should be. Simpson. Uh, Maurice Ferraz will go with you. I like this one, too. So, did this thing actually work? Not really too much. I don't mind making some more cavalry, though. We're going to lose places here, here and there, so. Uh, where are you guys all at? Well... We have the free core. 18 combo is not bad. The, oh, the Eagle Legion. Wow, you suck worse than everyone else. I'm going to say you're going to be part of the defense on this side here. I don't know where they're going to rise up, but I have a feeling the West Coast is going to be a big old pain in the tuchus. Because they usually are, aren't they? Oh, I'll throw them back in there. Why not? Did I save? I think I did save. Um, so we need to raise the Silver Legion as much as possible. Because I've heard that's really, really good to do, actually. There are only 12 combo with, but that's better than nothing. Because we'll probably lose New England as well. Oh, you're so close. Ooh, we found some enemy divisions. You guys probably want to stop training, go home. Planes. Don't want to forget about planes. Yes, I love fascism. We have... Uh, I love deploying zero out of zero casts. Now, that is my ideal. Anything else here? No. So, uh, now the rebellion spreads to the west coast. That's why I say these divisions over here, too. 
well, the state governments of California, Washington, and Oregon, those gosh darn West Coasties, uh, have all declared their support for the Boston government and order all federal officers to either resign their posts or leave the territories of these states. Immediately. Although there are reports of some scattered pockets of resistance among this move, there does seem largely to enjoy the support of the population. We still hold the center of the country, which makes sense. Uh, we'll promote... Let's go in? No. Uh, Maurice Rose. We can lead him. Corny High, just since he's an infantry guy too. So, cool. You just hold the line. That's all I care about. I want y'all... Go ahead. Second American Civil War. Alrighty, righty, righty. Uh, Spanish Directory? Sure. Did you actually win the Civil War, Spain? No, but they're doing actually very, 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 very well. So this is something I don't agree with. The East Coast joins the rebellion. If our soldiers are already over here, we should have enough time to actually just occupy all these states and places. This does not make any sense to me at all. The rebel forces marching south from New England have been widely regarded as liberators in Maryland, New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, with the local governors ordering state police and the National Guard not to interfere. Any attempts to rally loyalist forces around the capital have failed. President Alf Landis was evacuated from Washington mere hours before rebel forces closed all exits. His mode of call made it made it to Richmond, Virginia, will likely continue for the south. We'll return. This doesn't make any sense, bro. This type of design just don't make no sense. In all honesty, though, just do this. It's fine. Just go in if you can. He's going to declare his independence. That's nice. You guys just get down to the other areas. You get down to here and get up to there. And you just keep making it to the coast. That's all that matters. Ah! Everyone's killing each other. Why do we still get reps? Do we still get oh, we have New York City. Hey, not bad. Midwest clears for the government as it should. The state governments of the Dakotas, Iowa, Minnesota, and Nebraska today have nearly managed to defeat an apparently well-planned coup attempt by the leftist elements, supported by law enforcement and rebellious National Guardsmen. Loyal citizens managed to protect the state legislatures and prevent the capture of several governors, but suffering casualties and several sharp firefights ranging in the state capitals. Heroes won it all. Now we have enough supply up here. We should be able to do okay this year, though, you know. But you never know. Send them to uh, this, this coast. I don't We're not going to fight this way. Uh, both the Northwest and Southwest clear for the government. State legislatures of Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana passed a round of anti-sedition laws, giving the local government or local law enforcement agencies sweeping powers to arrest and detain anyone found speaking out against the federal government for the duration of the current emergency. But the presence of rebel forces nearby Washington and Oregon will require some support from the Royalist, Loyalist forces, not Royalist, but Loyalist forces. Strategic territories and the governors of Nevada, Arizona, Utah, New Mexico, and Colorado, God bless their heart, have declared a state of emergency following a widespread demonstration in support of the Boston government. In several cases, State police and National Guards units fired on the protesters who fled in panic, dragging their dead and wounded with them. Time for rallies and speeches are long gone. Long gone. Head that way, y'all. Because, right, actually, you guys. Can you actually move in? I don't really want to attack you at all because the guys are literally just showing up. But, uh, you know, we'll do what we can. MacArthur offers to lead the government. The government full retreat in large parts of the country, siding with the insurrection. General MacArthur's approaches with an offer, pointing out that only he, only he truly understands American mindset, moves, provides stability and leadership in this moment of crisis. MacArthur has offered to lead a government of national defense until other insurrection has been defeated. According to MacArthur, this has reduced friction between the civilian leadership and the military commanders by placing General MacArthur in charge. Some of the government are somewhat uncomfortable with the fact that he continues to refer to himself in the third position. Desperate times call for desperate measures. American Caesar. Do I wander that one? That would be the end of the Republic. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't actually don't know which, whether we should do that or not. Um, ooh, what do we have here? Oh, that's not good. Do we have any subs here? No. Yeah, we're definitely doing okay here. Uh, Y'all probably probably actually do want to go in. We got a bunch of New Englanders to get rid of. Um, we lost New York. God dang it. You want to take Buffalo as well? Hmm, I don't remember, but let me double check. You know what? Screw it. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Why not? Oh, and actually, you probably don't want to stop doing that. And if anything, you all probably want to do this, too. 
Go ahead and combine them. If we get, get into any sort of big old battles, that'll be fine. Um, I'm a little worried about New England, but as long as the West Coast holds, you know what? Just go in. Help support the attack. You could probably do okay. In all honesty, yeah, you could probably do okay here. Yeah, we're definitely gonna struggle down here, but that's alright. Uh, go down here. Cut them off. Just, just cut them off. That's all I have to do. If all we have to worry about is New England, that's not bad then. Hey, just like it was the battle, the last battle, one of the last battles of the American Revolution. Just kill them all off right there. Sounds good to me. Go over the river and through them too. So far, it's better than what I thought it would be. Not gonna lie, because I knew this this could be really a bunch of crap to do, but you know whatever. Of course, then again, I have my Discord mods helping me out with this, because I don't re remember how to do this at all, because this DLC is old. <clears throat> oh, MacArthur, you're supposed to be leading us. Still will, uh, he's politically connected. Ugh, God, I don't like political, politically connected people. You know what, no field marshal then. Screw it. Computer machine, nice. So far, so good. This is a lot better than I thought it was. Like, I mean, then again, I was... Well, bad word. We lost a lot of destroyers. Um, but, doing a lot better than I thought it would be. What is this? Oh, well then. Do they change their flag or do we change our flag? Oh, wait, who are you? Republican Party, Allison Jackson. Who the heck is Allison Jackson? Bruh. You continue the New Deal? Of course traitors to America. No, we got him circled, didn't we? Bro, that sucks. I want y'all to hold here. Uh, except for you guys. You guys keep moving in. Take them out. Uh, all of you. Just join this group here. It's fine. Take Portland if you can. This is not going so well for us, but we'll build, we'll build a massive nigga. Not really New England's looking great. I love we took Boston! What? Alright, why is this so easy? Those are medium tanky boys. I like them thick. Jesus, we keep losing so many guys. We can sink one one convoy. That's great. Hey, Douglas MacArthur Daddy. Um, do we want to exclude Chinese people yet? Let's do National Prosperity Program first. The key to ensuring a swift recovery and lasting prosperity lies not in unchecked markets, but in carefully guided programs connecting private and public enterprises. So let's get rid of these guys, and then we'll focus all on this part of the coast. Because they're, they're going through Arizona like there's no tomorrow. Um, sure, why not? You guys are still encircling. You haven't died yet, though, which is actually kind of impressive. Hey, they got Portland. Which is not great, but not bad, either. Anything else here? Special measures? Nah. More propaganda? Uh, actually, we could raise more legions. I think we'll actually be okay. Yeah, we'll, I think we'll be okay at this point. This point, just get rid of you. There you go. Everyone over here now. How do we lose all this part of Nevada when there's like no one here? Questions, questions. Oh! Now they're gonna be sinking, hopefully. Beat the bad word out of them. You bunch of mother grubbers. Nice. Not nice. Did we? Wow, these guys redeploy very fast. Three, two, one. Just go right here if you can. That'd be great. Because you cut all these guys out then. Would you be awesome? Got guns, nice. Uh, get some more output, why not? Let's go on. Senators are. T oh, oh, do we care about the senators? Do we really care about the senators right now? I don't think so. Elections to Congress every two years, a third of the Senate seats and all seats in the House of Representatives uh, are up for election, while often overshadowed by world events. Local situation, each constituency can sometimes make the difference. After all the votes are counted, the faction in support of the government has gained nine seats in the Senate and gained six five seats in the House. People have spoken? <laughs> they better speak, especially if they wanted a civil war. But maybe that's just me. There we go. Railway guns? Oh god, yes, daddy. Also, I was looking up for the whole Adam Hill thing, and apparently it's like one out of a 200 chance, which really sucks, but whatever. Uh, do you have any experience here? Seawolf? Superior Tactician for now. 
I'll get there. And you guys are doing what? Repairing? Just going to repair first. Have you learned anything important? You're not on iron side yet, which sucks. I get more experience game, which is actually really good. Um, I want you guys to stop doing this side, though. There's really no point for you guys to do that. Yeah, there's way more point to do this side, though. Hey, thank you. Oh! God, I love Oswald Mosley. He's such a good guy. Like, come on, man. Five of these guys, they are 26 come with. Silver Legions, I love the Silver Legion Nebraska Volunteers. National Guards, make them a little thicker. National Guard. And we'll edit these divisions too. Nice. Ooh, that's not good. If anything, I want you guys to do this. Uh, income tax reform, maybe? Yeah. Now, the income tax mo takes money out of every American's wallet, money that our citizens could spend on buying other things and supporting the local economy. We'll give Americans autonomy over their own finances back. I guess that's a whole goal. Oh, we can just go straight out of this. That'd be good. Maybe. Oh, they're actually forcing the defense. Holy crap. Just fighting in California reminds me so much of playing as the Western Brotherhood and stuff like that, or the NCR from the Old World Blues. Oh, we're already on superior firepower. Look at that. Oh, that sucks. Anglo-Italian alliance. Are we going to beat up the British, or are we just going to like let them live? Uh, now you want to help us out, Italia? Okay, okay, we won. Darn it! We can't get rid of this. No, we can't get rid of this stuff. Oh, that's such a mistake that I. Uh, uh. Happy 1939, though, everybody. Happy New Year. Well then. Not bad. Uh, go that because we'll probably use. Oh, well, we might use them for tanks too. Um, well, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be, I'll be honest. Extremely easy compared to what I thought it would be. We arranged supreme. After months of bloodshed and untold thousands of casualties, the Second American Civil War has come to an end. President Douglas MacArthur has declared major combat operations to be over, while some remnants of their old government still keep up an ineffective resistance campaign. Most have either been routed up in government sweeps or melted back into civilian population. According to President Douglas MacArthur, the war was clearly the work of foreign influences seeking to destabilize and divide the country. In time and promises, those responsible to pay back their debt to the recover American nation in blood. At last it's over. At least it's over. Oh, again, that one would be really good. And I want to empower the whack as well, but we'll get there. Uh, well, I guess we'll go with the install the confederacies, too. Uh, deregulate? Sure. Following a correction in the financial markets, that is perfectly normal in the economic cycle, previous governments have instituted quite unreasonable constraints on financial activities. While no doubt it well-intentioned, these restrictions clearly do more harm than good. So remove the slow economic growth, which would be good. We lose some opposition. Extend the tax breaks. All right, well, whatever. Color divisions in, in my, my America? Well, God damn it, can't, can't do this. More than 50% war support. Limited intervention. Oh, crap. Well, and we can't do this because we need more than more will tension. Crap. Ah, I should have done that earlier. Special measures. Nothing's going, nothing's going to give us more... Uh, oh, Bolivarian Alliance. German Empire. Um, well, I guess in the meantime, I'll get more daily army XP. 0 0.09. Oh, can't do Douglas MacArthur because he's not... Uh, even that's not that great. Is your nutrition? Special forces are okay. Uh, army XP, nutrition. Special forces. I'm not gonna be using that many special forces. Fine. How many do we need to build? There we go. Civilian factory. Oh, additional civilian factories have been built there. Okay. That's fine then. We'll go with two. Deregulate the, their banking sector. Actually, do we have resistance? Or are they all cores? So, now what? Do we have political opponents? Extend tax breaks. Good, do this one. Eh, might as well get more uh, stability. Um, uh, yeah, you might as well just go and do American Institute of Sciences. The universities and, uh, research labs all across the nation so far have conducted the research as they saw fit. This must end. We'll create a new organization coordinate the efforts of our world-class scientists. Escalator clause invoked. No, I don't think anyone really gives a crap at this point. Holy crap, the Navy's back.
Train till you die. Uh, 36. Well, we'll see what happens. Basic armor protections. Skirts. I love skirts. Uh, nothing. Um, you know, let's go, just build them up more. Some radar here eventually. We're going to definitely need to build our military up some more, too. That looks pretty good overall. Refugee to the sciences. Um, best in the economy. Uh, Lazaro Cardenas demands a withdrawal from the Caribbean. The passion speech lasting more than four hours. Lorenzo Cardenas demand that we abandon all the colonies in the Caribbean areas. They are, according to him, the most visible proof of our imperialist oppression over the region. Well, some argue that we cannot afford to anger Mexico at this moment. More resolute advisors emphasize that we're totally capable of resisting them and that our territorial integrity should never be jeopardized. I do not play as Mexico, and I need to play as Mexico sometime. They're a bunch of socialists right now, though, but still. The Greedo's demands? Release Puerto Rico. You can go suck a fat one, mister. Mister, mister. Promises of peace? Oh, heck no. Press censorship. Oh, wait, we're unaligned. Oh my god, we're unaligned. No, I hate unaligned. Oh, screw this. We're gonna go fascist. Fascist is the only route for us right now. Actually, you know what? Provisional government of Panama? No. Absolutely not. Naval theorists, air doctrine theorists. Well, this would be complete waste. Victory through air power. We have no nothing for land doctrine. So I guess we'll choose you, but it's probably better to get some air stuff first. It did say tactical bombers, so ground support's not bad. Bomber experience. We'll do a do little. Mr. Do little. American Institute of Sciences. What? What? What's going on down there? And one more deregulated banking sectors. What in tarnation is going on over there? Holy crud. Who is in what faction? Bolivarian alone. Whoa. Even. Oh, Francis. Oh, they're already fighting each other. I didn't realize that. The Corfu. What? Corfu Cooperative. The Allies. I didn't realize that they were war with each other. Holy crap. Well, it's a good way to get war propaganda. Hey, 64%. Not bad. I Ireland? Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Oh, which means we need to say we're peepee now. We can go here, right? Oh, hello. Mexico. Please. We may not look the strongest right now. But that doesn't mean we're weak. Uh, we need a crap ton of guns. Sanders retired, it's fine, whatever. We definitely gonna need some more millies. Holy good fathers, we need more millies and whatnot. Basic medium tanks would be nice. With other stuff, that's fine. Oh, we got rid of the light tanks. Ah, whatever. Hmm, we could combine divisions, maybe. Ah, consolidate them. Make it, make sure every division is actually worth worth it right now. Um, but do we need some more supply? We might need actually some more supply through here, maybe. You never know. Some air bases in Texas. Get some actual air bases and radar stations, of course. Missouri, you're almost done. There you go. Thank you, sir. And M1 Thompsons. Oh, they went to war with some other group. Guatemala joined the... Oh, they didn't want to join us. God, guys, we can help defend you, too. Don't abandon us like that, man. Come on. 36% more support. I hate... The way it's currently set up. I hate non aligned so much, man. So bad. But I privatized the TVA. The Tennessee Valley Authority has crowded out private competition and has established stranglehold on construction work in the area. It can't be the government's job to do things the private sector has proven to do better. Absolutely, man. Infrastructure construction speed plus 10%. Why not? As we'll get another research stuff, too. One day's left. Very good. I guess we can just do intervention in the Americas. Oh, hello. Well, crap. Uh, that's fine for now. Should I join the Allies? Should we not? 1939. Better radar, I guess. We just go in. Probably. We'll do that, though. Let's do this, too. And stop doing that. Do that, too. Um, is that good enough? Seven. Go split up one more time. I do that, too. 
Well, let's see. Plane wise, how are we looking? Oh, we got some fighters. Oh, that'll come in handy. Oh, I forgot about. Wow. Some of you guys are very experienced. We got planes all over the place here. Oh, there you go. And nothing there. What is wrong with all these guys? Bombers. Cass. Oh, we have another group here too. And we'll throw the naval bombers on there too, because we can. Well, all right then. Nice black Florida, sure, sure. That's fine. Uh, I'm still the blow of Panama. Oh yeah, I forgot about the canal, whatever. Well, we sunk a lot of those guys already. You guys actually win here. I kind of doubt it. Not that strong, but still. Sure, that's fine. Not question of practice for now. How strong are they? Oh, I thought that was us. No. Well, that's not bad so far. Uh, no. I don't. I don't want to be bothered in this campaign. We'll see what we can do. But, at the in the meantime, we won right there, which is very nice, but... I don't know. Should we join the Allies? A fascist set of Allies. Let me know in the comments below, because I'll leave that up to you. I wasn't expecting them to actually go fascist. The only thing I did for game rules for this campaign was make sure Germany did not go fascist and have a civil war. What is going on over here? Italy, why are you so weak? It's Italy. But, let me know. Should we join the Allies, or should we not? Because I do want to go continue down the fascist route. And uh, I guess basically at this point, probably create the Confederacy. I guess we'll do national employment strategy for a final focus. Unemployment comes from a simple fact. You don't match up people with the jobs of offered. Factories lie out of because employers don't find the people they need while people in other parts of the country starve. We'll introduce a new strategy that will ensure that any employer can find the people he needs to run his company. But hey, if you enjoyed the, the American Civil War, leave a, leave a fat like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we'll figure out how else we're going to continue this campaign. Thanks for watching. And have a tremendous, tremendous Douglas MacArthur rest of your day.